Hey there, welcome to the studio. So today I'm going to do an open cup pour with a white um, background and with uh, metallic paints. So let's do that today. I haven't done an open cup pour for a while. Okay, so I have prepared my canvas. On the back I have push pins and tape and I've sprayed the back of my canvas to tighten up the cotton material so that my um, canvas is tight. As you can see, there's a little extra water on the corners here right now. I have some dimples going on. So while we're talking, that should help take care of those dimples. So the paints that I'm using today are the Deco Art Extreme Sheen. This one is Coral. This one is Emerald. This one is amethyst, and this one is pearl. So kind of interesting choice of colors, but I really would like to see how they go together. So I've finished mixing up my paints. They actually leave just a tiny mound that disappears within just about one and a half to two seconds. I don't know if you're able to see that. So I have it. I'm doing an open cup pour, so this one is a little thinner. I might have to put a little more paint in that one. And that one might be a little thicker. So we'll adjust our paints and we'll get started. I did use silicone today in my colors only. So the silicone that I do use is us art supply you'll see a link below my video and you'll be able to, you can order that through that link um, off of amazon but i just put a couple drops in to each of my colors only and we're going to get started All right, and with an open cup pour, what I'll do is I'll choose a spot on my canvas, rest my cup there. I always like to give it a little bit of a kiss around the outside edge. And then I'll get started. So here we go. Looks like we've got lots of paint. Get some of the air bubbles out. We're going to have a lot of larger cells because I've got a lot of silicone in. Now those will stretch out. Let's hope that those stretch out to something we like. I'm going to come down this way a little bit first. Since the paint's down that way, let's come this way. I'm 
And then I'll bring in my paint back toward the middle and then coming down this way. Most of the paint's on this side. You see it's coming over. Now it's not getting muddy, but some of these colors are mixing. I'm not sure I like that. So let's go over this way. Maybe too many, too many colors with silicone. I think I'm going to go back this way. Actually, I'm going to wait a minute. See if we have any other silicone pop up, and then we'll stretch it some more. You realize the green was going to take over so much. Hmm. Well, it kind of looks like rocks but I'm not sure I like this pattern but I'm gonna bring you in and let you see this up close with the metallic it might just dry in a fabulous pattern I just don't know we'll see and this is our final painting I'm hoping that some more cells come up but I believe that um, we've got we've got what we've got. Let me show you some of these cloudy effects that are coming up. That's because we use the cell activator as the base. And then the effects that you have on this side, where the white is on the top instead of on the bottom, that is from the pearl that we mixed in. That was the Deco Art Metallic. So I hope you like that one. Kind of looks like a rock formation almost. Thanks for watching. All right, I kind of decided I didn't like the amount of um, modeling without any contrast in this. So I think I'm going to pour a little bit more and add some black into it. So let's let's go ahead and do this again. Sorry, everybody, if you like this one.
Oh my, look at that. Now that's what I needed. A little bit of black in there for contrast. There we go. So now we've hooked that on the edge. I think I like this one much better just because the black is adding some contrast in that that I need. Much better. Very interesting pattern and enough contrast. I like that. So let me do a little torching here and I'll bring you in closer. And we got this wonderful patterns and cells, little cells, big cells, lacing. It's all coming out really, really cool. So I hope you like this one. So let me know what you think in the comments below.